all right so welcome once again to my youtube channel thank you so much for always having time over here with me on my official youtube channel and you know what um a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions on how to change their password on their gog epay slip um platform that is the online payslip platform for government workers across the country and and so i've taken it uh, upon myself to get time dive into it and then let you know the steps to follow the simple steps to follow to be able to change your password on the gog um payslip.com platform and so today if you happen to be here in fact you're fortunate so don't forget if today happens to be a first time click on the subscribe button be part of this wonderful family as we continue to discover a lot of things um in our country and across africa all right so without wasting much time let us quickly get um, actively onto the simple steps over here so first of all uh, let's assume you have this at your uh, your screen okay this is your screen and don't forget we're going to use um this browser that is chrome browser that is it over there you're going to use the chrome browser um for the sake of the studies that is why we're going to use the Chrome browser, but you can use any other browser at all, any other supporting browser, you can use it. So um, I'm using the Chrome browser over here, the Google Chrome, yes. All right, so first of all, you open the Google Chrome and then, um, okay, so now it's opened now. Okay, so now we need to enter the, um, the, the website, that is the GOG, um, uh, GOG payslip dot com that is the e payslip platform okay you need to have that um on your fingertips or in mind so you enter gog payslip dot com all right so now you wait for it to open okay so now it has opened the page for you and that is exactly what you're going to see as soon as you open your um e payslip page on the platform okay all right so uh let's check something over here yes yeah, so you need to enter your employee uh, number you enter your password and then there is a code that you are going to enter this code you see if you can't see it well there's a reload code over there that's what you can actually see now so you click on that and then the code is going to change for you all right so since we see this one clearly i think we can proceed to enter our details over there all right so take note of that okay so that is exactly where you're going to enter the code that is where you have enter code that is the space you are going to use to enter the code all right so now let's enter our um numbers over there that's employee number the staff id okay so these are the details um so in this case you are going to use your own details all right you enter your employee number and then you also input your password right after that then you click on the enter code to enter the code you see there don't forget if they are in caps you would need to uh, make it in caps that means in uppercase but if you're in lowercase too you do same and so this one let me uh, have time to talk about that one now there are some times the code that they will give you to enter will be in caps lock all right will be in capital letters mixed together with numbers and so if you are to type the capital letters that means you need to turn the, 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 turn the caps lock on you understand that especially when you're using a computer and when you're using a phone too there is a button over there on your keypad that when you press on it will change or turn the keys into um i mean capitals so when you also have them in i mean small letters or lowercase you do same so you just type as you see all right so let's proceed now uh, we've already turned uh, the, the alphabet into lowercase and so we are typing the um the code over there okay all right so that is mddw2c great so we are through and then you see the login uh, button or tab down there yes exactly this one so you quickly click on that and then we wait for it to open great so quickly our page is opened that is exactly what you're going to see as soon as you open your e platform on the internet so first of all you're going to actually see my payslip that is all 
that is where all the pay slips um, actually is uh, loaded and not only that the next one is my supplementary pay slip and then we have the messages and then for the sake of what we're going to do we're actually going to concentrate on the change password you know that is what we're going to talk about now so take note of that change uh, password that was where we I just zoomed for you so now you click on that and now you've already clicked on that okay some other time we shall talk about the other tabs over there but for the sake of this tutorials okay so for some other times we are actually going to concentrate on the other tabs that we saw over there on the main page immediately you open your um your page all right so now for the sake of the studies for today we're actually going to concentrate on the changing of password and so right after clicking on change password this is exactly what you're going to see on um your screen all right so this is exactly what you're going to see on your screen the first one is you to type old password that is the old password that you are using i mean the current one i should say the current one don't forget the one that we used to enter into our account okay so after typing that one there okay so let's proceed you type that old password at this section okay make sure you type it correctly as you used it and right after that you proceed to type the new password that you want to use so let's assume your old password was um let's say um emmanuel ghana 24 okay emmanuel ghana 24 you type it at the old password section and then let's say your new password is um let's say ima ghana 24 ima ghana 24 you type that new password at the new password section over there when you finish don't forget you you need to you need to confirm the password that you just typed that is the new password the ima ghana 24 so you type it over here okay at the confirm password section and after that the update section over there is for you this this is the tab i'm talking about okay after inputting those details you click exactly on this tab update right after that you are going to be given a message on your phone i mean the number that you use to do the registration okay so don't forget immediately you click on this one you're actually going to receive a message that your password has actually been changed for you so my brothers and sisters thank you so much for having time over here with me this is exactly where we bring the lesson to an end i'm sure you have learned um the simple steps over here so now you know what now that you're going to try if you encounter any challenge always available to assist and support you so what you've got to do is to place your uh, whatever comment that you have at the comment section and i will actually get time and assist um, you on everything over there okay if you have any challenge if you face any challenge if there's any problem bothering you on how to change your password don't forget you can place it at the comment section and i'm actually going to um, assist you on that and so um, this is the main page as I've told you earlier um, some other time we shall get time to talk about each of these tabs one after the other for you to understand what they mean and how to go about any of them over there on your um, pay slip yeah so that you can find it very very easy whenever you want to change your password whenever you want to do anything on your e-pay slip this one doesn't apply to only teachers but it applies to all government workers who are having a staff id and who are being paid by a controller and who are having access to the online uh, e-pay slip um, platform so thank you so much and to be able to get the proceedings the subsequent um tutorials the subsequent i mean information over here on my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button right away and be part of this wonderful family don't forget to also share this particular um video for others to have access to it so that together we can also uh, be helping ourselves over here so after clicking on the subscribe button to be able to get notification on your phone don't forget to hit on the notification bell turn it on so that as soon as there is a video posted over here you can also have 
access to. Thank you so much. And once again, this is your brother, Atta Smart. God bless you and have a wonderful day.